Well, I'm through sanding uh, the table for the moment. It's at 220, and uh, normally uh, at this point, I, the process that I would follow to finish would be to uh, wet it down, raise the grain, sand it to 320, and then apply a water-based dye at that point, and then uh, tongue oil uh, for finishing or shellac. But uh, a friend of mine in the UK has challenged me to use uh, a more traditional method, which I've never done before, and that's to use uh, chemically based dyes, which would be more period-like, along uh, with uh, shellac and wax finishes. So um, he sent me his formulas, and uh, I'm going to practice on a piece of the top, and uh, so you're going to see that first before we get to actually finishing the real deal. So I'm beginning the finishing process uh, for the dressing table now and uh, this is a piece of the board uh, the top um, so the uh, wood should be the same and it's been sanded to 220 and then I took hot water and uh, took a, a wet rag and uh, got it all nice and wet and that raised the grain a little bit uh, I can feel the, the little uh, fibers standing straight up here. So now I'm going to take uh, 320. So, so it was sanded to 220. Now I'm going to take 320 and lightly knock off the fuzzies uh, with it and then uh, wipe it down and then I'm going to do it again. So to do it twice as uh, recommended by my uh, friend in the UK. So. Uh, that's what we're about to do here. So I'm going to use the sanding block and a quarter sheet of 320 here and then sand with the grain. Just lightly. We're only trying to take off the fuzzies until we can uh, feel that it's smooth. So I'll be doing this, and I'm doing the other side at the same time, so uh, we're going to try some chemical uh, stains on this. So I've got some hot water here. And uh, the rag's reasonably wet. So this is the second time that I've done this. Letting down the, the board, sanding it back, so you have to wait for it to dry. You can see how much of the fuzzies come back this time. Sanding it a second time after it's dried. So I'm going to uh, apply a chemical stain to this side of the table top. Um, this is potassium diochromate, which is a, a chemical stain, and it was recommended by uh, Tim Garland, who is a professional antique restorer in uh, the UK. So I've never used it before, so we're going to give it a try. I apply it with, it's warm, and I'm going to apply it with a wet rag. Well, there you have it. I've just applied it here. It's been maybe two or three minutes and it's starting to get dark so uh, we'll see what it looks like once it dries went on pretty easy uh, you gotta apply it quickly to watch for uh, overlapping streaks but uh, this this came out pretty well so we'll see uh, what it looks like when it's dry so I don't know if you can see this now uh, other than the 
few spots that I uh, screwed up here that I, I dropped uh, back on it but uh, it's a yellowish brown after I rubbed off the uh, there was a powder a yellowish powder over the whole thing but it uh, and there's you know still yellow you can see yellow on it here let me get back here where you can see the whole thing but uh, that's what Tim said uh, is normal so now we'll put some shellac on it and see if it evens out so uh, I'm gonna I'm not used to uh, brushing shellac I, I spray it so I'm gonna give it a coat of spray shellac and see what happens so after I rubbed off the uh, powdery uh, surface with uh, a scotch pad uh, a very fine one a, uh, it would an even uh, dull brown with uh, some yellow streaks in it and this is with uh, two uh, coats uh, of uh, over one pound cut uh, dark shellac so it brought it back to life so um, looks like we're on the right track